Welcome everyone to my very first look at this upcoming game. It's called Clan Folk, and it's basically Scottish Rimworld. Only you're taking out kind of the the sci-fi elements of it, and you're really kind of set in the period of uh, the early days of Scotland. So uh, I have not played this yet. Uh, I've got access to the full beta version of the game. Uh, the developer has given me that. So you're going to join me as I dive into this for the first time. Uh, I'll try to edit out the boring parts where I'm trying to figure out what in the world to do. And we'll just kind of play through the tutorial and the first time entering the game and see what we think. If you guys like this and you want to see more of it, hit that like button. Let me know in the comment section below and we'll play more. But for now, this is just a first look at Clan Folk. Let's dive in. So we're going to hit a new game. And we have three points that we can spend on world settings. I'm just going to keep everything exactly where it is uh, for now. And we'll just hit bid, build world. And then once we build the world, we're going to have some options as far as uh, building a clan. You know, this is set in Scotland. So we're going to be building ourselves a clan to get started. Uh, and of course, there are particular scenarios that you can choose at the beginning. A fresh start. A clan builds their first homestead, which is recommended. Uh, a family just starting out tries their hand at managing a flock of sheep. That one's difficult. The parents are gone and all they have are a few coins, the chickens they could carry, and each other. Very difficult. Uh, build your own clan from nothing. Try after surviving winter. That's a custom scenario where you can kind of build your own clan from nothing. Now here are the available clans and you can see their tartans here. So that's pretty cool. Uh, clan Bruce. Awesome. Uh, Cameron. Campbell. Douglas. Uh, home, Hunter, McDonald, McDougal, McKenzie, McIntosh, McLeod, Robertson, Ross, and Wallace. All right, well, I am actually descended from some of the Douglases, so we're going to choose the Douglases for this. Let's go ahead and hit fresh start and see what happens. All right, so I don't fully understand exactly everything that's going on here, but we do have basically a family tree uh, because it is a clan. Uh, and so you can see here we've got uh, Kenneth and Dorothy who are seniors. Um, and they've got farming skill, lumber skill, building skill, hunting, cooking, cleaning. Uh, and you can see here um, some stats, tireless, optimist, and jolly. And then a child, uh, or adult children, Jonah and Niall, and their statistics. And then their children, who are juveniles, and then one baby who's afraid of the dark. Oh man, that's not good. Uh, and then of course we have an inventory and it looks like we can sell from the inventory and buy other things to take in with us before we start. So uh, we are going to choose the tutorial just to help get us going. Looks like we've got roosters, hens, smoked meat, and dried mushrooms to get us started. And you can actually re-roll, which has a cost to it. But we're just going to go ahead and start exactly as it is. All right, so we start with our crew here, and poor Niles in his underwear, kind of just chilling right now. Uh, and you can see as you kind of move around the map, there's stats on the top left that tells you uh, hay, soil, how fast you move, what the growth rate is, uh, what the temperature is outside, what the wind chill is, uh, the environment, moisture, fertilizer, growth rate, all kinds of great stuff. Flammability, that's good to know. Uh, clan folk will only survive with careful preparation you can increase their chances with a quick tutorial all right sounds good so we're going to click on the alert and of course it's going to give us the usual kind of drag around the camera uh, and then you can click down here on the left side to get each of our people so here very cool stuff we see their mood their work um senior i guess just means how old they are is that telling us how long they have to live in seconds i don't know um Health, food, water, sleep, and warmth, cleanliness. All the typical stuff that you'll find in a game like this, a survival type game. And like in RimWorld, you can prioritize skills. Uh, in this case, uh, you can actually click on it and you can raise, raise it on the thing. I like that. I like being able to do it that way on each person. Just say, okay, I want this particular thing. And it tells you what their aptitude is in that particular area so this is really convenient and user friendly i like that a lot uh, and then you can choose their work mode you can make them overwork give them time off go to normal that's pretty cool i like that a lot so now we're going to place a drink zone so we're going to mark areas of the water where they're allowed to get drinking water so um 
I don't know if we only need one. Oh, and then we got to place a wash zone. So we're going to tell them, okay, here's where we want you to wash. I guess we probably don't want that to be near the drinking water. And then a sleep zone, even though right now it would just be kind of uh, empty ground. But eh, let's tell them to sleep up here, I guess. Eventually, I guess we'll probably place something there for them to sleep. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we've got enough sleep zones, I think, now. Now we need to gather some food. So let's tell them to gather berries. All right, so I guess we can just choose the particular berries that are here. That's cool. I like that. And it stays showing on the map, so it shows you what you've already told them to do. I like that. All right, we're going to start gathering berries. At the top right, we can speed up time so we can gather those berries a little faster. Looks like Dorothy in her underwear is going to go ahead and start bathing. These folks are just kind of randomly chilling in the in the fields over here. We do have a chicken that's kind of roaming around. It's well fed at the moment. Uh, so we've unlocked food stockpile. So we unlock things as we do things. Uh, so now we need to mark an area for our food stockpile. There we go. So we're going to gather all the berries and drag them over there. Good job, everybody. We're going to need some better clothes, I think, at some point. Click on the food stockpile. Almost everything has a priority setting. Higher priority job to pick sooner. Yeah, um, we're going to make food stockpile a 10. All right, next we're on to tools. So we have to gather some stones and branches in order to be able to get our tools. Let's go ahead and click on that. Jobs, gather stones. I'm going to find said stones. I wonder if we can just kind of highlight an area. Yep, that works. Awesome. So you just highlight an area like this, and it will automatically select the stones that are available. There's some bunnies sticking around over there. Here's all the stones down here. And then we're going to gather some branches as well. So now we need to create a work zone. So we'll go ahead and do that. We have to wait for the work zone to be built. Good job, guys. Good job. All right. So now, so as we build things and gather things, we unlock things. Now we're going to make a stone sickle. Raise the priority of that. And now that we've unlocked the stone sickle, we can now clear the grass. So uh, stone sickle, click on the reeds on the shoreline. Okay. So we've got reeds over here. And we can just choose to clear those. Awesome. Get to work. Oh, Marjorie, uh, Marjorie, Marjorie is going to do that. Good job. You can see how she slowed down when she got to the water. We can harvest reeds for straw. And now we've unlocked the thresher. All right, that's almost the end of the tutorial already. So we're going to be on our own after that to build shelter and all those sorts of things. Should be interesting. All right, so it's just warning us to go ahead and prepare for winter. We're going to need food, warmth, and shelter, all the basics. So I guess we have to figure out how to do that. What's he trying to tell me exactly? Ideas tutorial, OK. Unlocked ideas by crafting and collecting resources. Click the button with the unlock icon to find new stuff. Okay, so here we go. This tells us how we go about getting different things. So this will be kind of our encyclopedia. Uh, and then we drag ingredients to, I guess, such and such a place. And then we're able to make said ingredients. So the next thing we have to build is a thresher. Of course, we don't have any really good places to put things at the moment. Uh, and we're going to need straw branches and time to make this happen. So we'll go ahead and queue all that stuff up and kind of go from there. So clan folk use the thresher to convert grasses into seeds and straw. So we're going to click on the menu and we're going to gather some grass, which we're now going to turn into seeds and straw. So we'll go ahead and kind of queue that up, see what happens. Clear the grass, people. We've got a lot of it sitting right here. 
Next, the clan folk need to process the cut grass. So we're going to click on the thresher and we're going to tell them to process the hay seed. One batch of grass is being processed into seeds and straw, but sometimes you'll need to maintain a constant supply of an ingredient. Straw is often used for crafting, so let's click on auto supply. All right. Oh, that's right here. So we click on the auto supply and we tell it we need a constant supply of this stuff. We're going to drag it to 100. All right, cool. So we can make eel traps. It's a reliable source of food, if not overfished. We also uh, need to work on hay. So let's clear some grass to get some more hay. And let's build ourselves an eel trap, shall we? Where do we make said eel trap? I guess out here in the water, huh? There we go. What are we going to need for that? Straw and branches, of course. Everything requires straw and branches right now. Uh, so we're doing a lot of the gathering type stuff. Gather some more branches. There we go. Give you something to do, people. So you can see the other clans are unknown, which means obviously at some point we can encounter other clans. You can see the world map here and how expansive it is. And we're just kind of right in this little area here. Uh, also, you can click on your family tree, which we saw earlier, and it kind of shows what's going on right now with all of that. So we were down to zero day supply of food. We have a little indicator down here on the bottom right that tells us uh, how much food we have. So now we're up to one. We've got our first eel trap built. I'm thinking we probably need more of those. Um, let's go under hunting. Eel trap's the only thing we have so far. Where else might we be able to place said eel trap? There don't appear to be any good spots for one. Maybe down here a little further. Oh yeah, I guess we can do them in those spots. Cool. Let's build some more of those. It's going to require a lot of resources, but we have a lot of sticks and, and hay sitting around for such things. Uh, scheduling tutorial. So yeah, we can schedule. Uh, eel traps are a reliable source of food outside winter. Uh, click on the eel trap and we can use auto supply. We could trap too many eels depleting smaller lakes. So let's set up a limited daily catch for this trap. Click on the raw eels. Uh, to request two eel catches and then wait until tomorrow. Okay, very cool. Nice. I like that. There's a lot here. I mean, once you get the hang of it, I could see it being easier. But right now, boy, it's a lot to remember, really. I guess we might not need this many eel traps. How do we demolish it? There we go. Cancel job. Cancel job. I think maybe just two for now is probably the ultimate way to go with this. Cooking fire. Oh, time to make some fire. Let's not put it next to flammable things. How about like right over here in the middle of nowhere? Seems like a good spot for that. Make fire. Stones, branches. We need to gather some more stones. We haven't done a stone gathering job for a while. All right, let's make ourselves a cooking fire. We unlocked a few other things, stone hoe uh, to dig clay, and then blockers and cooking. Uh, so it has unlocked stockpile blockers. Stockpile blockers can be used to prevent clan folk from dropping items in an area. That's useful to keep items away from fire sparks. That's good. I'll need clay water jugs to put out fires. Uh, so let's start with blockers. That's probably a good start for that. Uh, we didn't block down there. I guess I can't. I guess I have to have somewhere that I can actually get to the fire. I don't know. Hey, look, it's nighttime, and we have our first fire, which is making the people happy and warm. That's a nice thing. Although it's... I wonder if we can change this to Fahrenheit, because, you know, I'm a silly American, and we do um, Fahrenheit for our temperatures. So it doesn't appear that you can do that. That's okay. I'll get used to it. Now we can cook our eel. That's excellent. Auto cook all of the supply. Actually, no, we're just going to make it 20. 
So even though it said the tutorial was done, the tutorial really isn't done because it's continuing to tell me what I need to do as we complete various steps. I'm a little nervous about some of this stuff over here that's uh, in this area. I feel like maybe we should gather it and get it out of there to get those berries too. So you can see here how the embers, uh, like some embers came off the fire and landed in different areas. Uh, so that's obviously something we have to kind of concern ourselves with. Uh, where do we, oh, somebody, somebody going to grab the food and put it somewhere or is it just going to sit there and burn? Everybody's going to sleep now in their little designated sleep areas. Except for the kid that's roaming around and there's an animal and, oh, that's just a chicken. Okay. Is anybody going to watch the baby that's kind of just needs to go to the bathroom? Someone needs to change the baby. Oh, good. So Kenneth got up, grabbed the baby here in the middle of the night and took the baby over to be washed. So thankfully, I and mean, that's one way to do it, I guess. You know, just stick him in the water and wipe the poop right off of him. Good job. Nice job, Kenneth. Way to be a dad. Actually, I think he's the grandpa. At least grandpa's paying attention while Christine, walk, Christine walks all over the place and nobody pays attention. All right, so a bunch of notifications happening now. We've got an inventory tutorial uh, thing here. Tools, okay, so what are we gonna do with the tools? We've got our stone hoe. We get a request that there are always two of such available. Okay, that's cool. We can turn grass into string by making it into twine. We're gonna dig clay. We're gonna make a stone ax. We need more bathrooms. I didn't know, oh, we need to make a poop hole. All right, cool. This should probably be away from the camp somewhere. Uh, it seems like a good spot for a couple of poop holes. Looks like we need a hoe to make a poop hole. And yeah, it's not the most clean thing. So we're gonna make that away from the camp a little bit. Cue up a stone ax or two. Start digging some clay. We need some more stones. So that's in the, you know, it takes a little bit of time to get used to where things are. But once you do, I think you can probably move around pretty fast on all of this. Not a lot of stones just kind of laying around, though. There's a lot of clay along the shoreline. So we're going to be gathering up a bunch of clay. I feel like we're going to probably run out of stockpile space pretty soon. We do have stone axes queued up already. We're working on making twine, so that's all kind of in the works. Food still a bit of an issue though. Hopefully we'll catch some more of these eels and be able to deal with our food issue. In the meantime, I'm gonna queue up uh, gathering some more berries. At some point we're gonna to have to start actually doing some farming though. We'll have to clear some land for that. Oh, it looks like now we can make a charcoal kiln as well as a sleep mat. So we can upgrade our sleep experience a little bit here. So let's start queuing those up for everybody. A little better than sleeping on the hard ground. Each one of those takes 25 straw, 2 twine, and 12 time. So that's going to take a while to get all that going. In the meantime, charcoal kiln. feel like that's the kind of thing that should probably not... It should be over here closer to where the fire is. Now we can clear trees now that we've got a stone ax and we've got a skills index tutorial to do. Boy, there's a lot to keep track of here. So jobs, now we're gonna clear trees. I guess let's clear these trees right there. So I'm feeling like this is not the place to put hay. So I put a flammable blocker there. We had hay sitting really close to the fire. Uh, so hopefully we're a little safer now. I don't think it'll go that far. Oh, we've unlocked the ability to make straw doors. I guess we're getting a little closer to making buildings. We're going to need some charcoal. How do we go about gathering that? Let's auto supply like 10 of that. I, I like the auto supply feature. It makes it much easier to just make sure that people are automatically uh, gathering certain things. We need a butcher block. All right. Where are we going to, man, we're just running out of room to put all these things. I feel like that's the kind of thing that probably shouldn't be close to the camp either. Maybe we'll put it over here. 
All right, we're making our first charcoal in the charcoal kiln. I just queued up clearing a bunch of grass so we can make hay and get the rest of these sleep mats made. So things are coming along nicely and pretty quickly, it seems. Uh, we need 125 straw total to be able to build all the sleep mats. I think we'll probably be able to get that from what we've got there. Uh, so let's take a look at the skills index tutorial. Uh, farming so we can see who the best farmers are uh, obviously Kenneth is by far our best farmer so we're gonna raise that priority on him and I, I should probably do the same uh, for all oh, we don't want to say no to that for all of our people is to uh, you know just kind of look at each one of them and see what their best skills are and queue up accordingly Dorothy, she's farming right now. She's actually a really skilled hunter, so let's make that the priority. Not that we're actually doing any hunting at the moment. Gathering, she's pretty good. How about Jonnet? Not very good at much of anything at the moment. You're, you're kind of a waste on our society right now here. Um, we're going to have to get you skilled up at some things. Uh, decent at mining. Not great, but a little better than at anything else. There's a decent miner here, too. And then these are kids, so not necessarily expecting them to be great at much so far. Hopefully that'll get better as time goes on. We've unlocked the kiln, which means we're going to be able to make clay, uh, or use this clay and charcoal to make pottery, tiles, and bricks. That will be very helpful. We're going to put that also over in kind of our fiery area. In fact, let's go ahead and, um, using our stockpile stockpile tool, uh, expand the area that is flamm flammable blocker. So that means they ca we can't place anything in this zone that is flammable. So this is kind of cool. You can do multi-select. If you hold down left shift, you can select all the clan folk at the same time. Uh, left control clicking will select three. Or we can select any three, so... That's cool. Um, makes things a little easier if we need to do something rapidly and get a bunch of people doing it. So looking up here to the north now, the, there's gravel that can be mined. Uh, there's mountains in which we can probably mine some things. Let's uh, mine the mountains and see what happens. What else do we have the ability to do now? To clear stumps clear bushes so we can actually start to really clear some areas uh, that'll that'll probably be good as we start to think about farming in the near future clear trees of course I want to try and clear out this area in the center and start to get a nice open area for our village especially when we start building buildings I'm just gonna try to give uh, I'll clear all there we go perfect So we've now unlocked stone walls, stone floors, and uh, or rock walls, daub walls, uh, rock roofs as well. So I think we've probably got to have the ability to make buildings now, no? Um, wattle wall, hay wall, dub wall. Um, what's the easiest? I would think a hay wall would probably be the easiest thing to do first. Although we haven't really cleared any areas to be able to build any buildings yet. I just want to see how our people are doing as they settle in for night two. Um, nothing's doing real bad. I mean, warmth is not great. We're going to have to deal with some clothing and uh, building issues for that soon. Not having a lot of fun either. But hey, it's Scotland a long, long time ago. Survival is fun. Vacancy sign needed tells travelers there's food and a warm bed here. Is there though? Is there really? All right, we're gonna make a vacancy sign so people know, hey, come here to our village. Let's put it over here somewhere. Uh, I queued up an area that we're gonna try to till so maybe we can pl start planting some crops. I also um, queued up an area where I put a gravel floor and hopefully eventually we can make a building there. I guess we'll see. It's not gonna be particularly large. So what are we making here? We're uh, in our kiln. We are making tile for the first time. We've also got the ability to make clay bricks and clay jugs. So all of that we're starting to queue up. 
Uh, we're working on our farming area right now. Got a lot of available resources, but those are not going to last forever. Anybody mining yet? I guess we did do some mining. Mostly just stones up here right now. I don't think we found much of anything else. Oh, we have the abil ability to make a dump now. So spoiled items can go there. That obviously is something we don't want near the village. So let's put that up here near our poop holes. All right, I'm also putting up some hay walls around this building. And a door right here. It's going to be a straw door. Not the most elegant of things, but it's a simple first building, I guess. We have to put a roof on this thing too. So how about a... A stone roof? That's going to take a lot. How about we just start with a hay roof? Oh, we can make our first simple bow. So we can start hunting. Let's, uh, let's queue up five of those, shall we? We also have uh, the need for clay bricks and straw windows. Okay, yeah, that's probably a good idea to have some windows in this home. So that we can actually see, maybe get a little bit of light going on in there. Hunting tutorial, okay. Let's click on hunting. Hunt the rabbits. And we do have people that are already designated as being our hunters. We'll see how they do. Well, this is less than ideal. We have a, a fire <laughs> uh, that has spread, so it's time to go fight said fire. Time to wake some people up. Get on it, people. Thank you. Thank you, Marjorie. Nice job. Way to put out the fire. Well, we don't have the ability to plant any crops yet so i'm going to plant some berry bushes uh, in our tilled soil there we need some more twine don't we have uh that queued up already i think we do somebody gonna make a flute let's make a flute somebody play some music maybe make a couple of snare kits All right, Kenneth, playing some tunes. Well, he was for a second there. Sounded pretty good, too. Play us some more tunes, Kenneth. Somebody needs to make some food in the meantime. There we go. We're cooking some food up. Somebody should play some tunes while we listen to the, or while we eat the food. So we got all these hay seeds, but we got really nowhere to plant hay seeds. We got a few berries. Oh, we can grow grass. Okay. Now we need to make a bloomery. Uses ore and charcoal to make ingots. Okay, so again, I think we're going to put this in kind of our fiery area that we've made. Um, we can also make critter doors, curtains. There's a lot of things that we haven't even attempted to start making yet. Uh, but again, I want to make an area that's a flammable blocker. An area where we're not putting anything flammable. And I'm going to expand it out a little bit. Our miners are mining away. Let's see if they find anything besides just a bunch of stones and large rocks and gravel. Seems so far like that's all there is, but that's okay. I guess we need some of that. We've got a nice big area cleared now, so I guess that's something we can start working on. Berry bushes apparently require that you input berries into them, I guess, is how that works in order to make berry bushes. So we're trying to gather a bunch of berry bushes to do that. I'd like to be able to plant some other crops at some point. I don't know why we haven't made the rest of the clay bricks that we need to be able to finish our bloomery. We also need a large rock and a bunch of clay. So I guess we needed to gather some more clay. That was what we were waiting on. We have three days supply of food now, which is the, the most I've had so far. Vacancy tutorial. During the evening, tired travels may, travelers may arrive seeking a bed for the night. Travelers are a good source of coin if there's an extra food and free beds. 
If they're not desired, then the vacancy sign can be hidden. Interesting. If a traveler's satisfaction reaches zero, they will leave immediately and not pay any coin. We have 20 coin at the moment. Job board needed. So let's place a job board somewhere. I'm not entirely sure what that'll do for us. Trading post needed. All right, cool. All right, we've got two travelers that have arrived, Yufin and David. And it looks like Yufin is overusing our nice facilities, our poop hole. Oh, Niall's there now. Yufin's on his way. He's dressed a little nicer than our folks are. Hopefully we can treat him well. We're gonna give him somewhere nice to stay, maybe rent out one of these beds, like our sleep mats. Both of our guests are using the bathroom now. Man, guess it needed to happen. Now playing a little music. What's she complaining about? So she's not having any fun. That's not good. Social's not great. Bathroom, she can handle that on her own. Not getting a lot of great sleep at the moment. We've got one day supply of food, so we've got to work on that a little bit. I'm queuing up another building, a bigger building that can kind of handle everybody, but uh, it's a little too big to where it needs a roof support, and I don't know that we... Oh, okay, we do just automatically build those. That's cool. Logs, large rocks, and time. So this is going to be a bigger building. It's all made of stone and gravel, except for the windows and the doors. That way we can put some lights in here. Um, let's go ahead and take a look and see. I want to go back to farming because... I guess there's not really anything we can do there. Standing torch, here we go, and then wall torches. I can put the wall torches over on these walls. Um, no, not there, because that's gonna make a hole, I think, in things, instead of having a wall. So it's still kind of working out how all of this stuff is supposed to work. If you've been playing the game at all, uh, I know it's not available to the general public yet, but if you've played any of it, and you have any helpful hints and tips, I am most uh, welcoming of those things because uh, like I said this is all new to me I'm playing through it for the first time but if you do want to see more of it let me know uh, let's see what the trader has to offer uh, buying and selling so I don't think there's really anything that we need to trade right now but eventually I can see where that will come in most handy but let me know your thoughts use the comment section below if you'd like to see me continue playing through this game a little bit uh, let me know that too and hit that like button and if this video does well we'll continue the series but for now there's your first look at clan folk coming soon on steam thanks for watching